Rhythms of the Night is the most popular dinner show in Puerto Vallarta, but I often get asked if it's worth going to. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the entire tour and what to expect to help you decide if it's worth the price of admission, as well as a few tips I wish I would have known before going. And if you're anything like me, you like knowing every detail before booking a tour, so let's get into it. So we had a nice chill day exploring Bucerias, hanging out by the pool, and tonight we're headed to Rhythms of the Night. We met friends earlier on this trip from North Carolina and they had rave reviews about it. They said it was one of the most amazing dining show experiences they've ever done. So we're really excited to see what it's all about. So you'll start by arriving at the Vallarta Adventures departure point. We left from the Nuevo Vallarta Marina, but there's a similar one at the Puerto Vallarta Marina. Just note that you will have to pay a dock fee, which is about 30 pesos per person or about $1.50. This is not included with your original ticket. I recommend getting there a little early, maybe about 45 minutes, so that you can sit down and have a drink under the Palapa Lounge and just kind of get situated. We also watched the dolphins for a few minutes, which is kind of cute. And there's washrooms here, so I would recommend going right before you get on the boat. We just arrived about 40 minutes early for the Rhythms of the Night show. It looks like it's going to be super awesome. I do recommend getting here a little bit early so you can check in and have a drink before you get on the boat. A few minutes before boarding, your guides will provide directions about getting on the boat, and the boat ride is a modern catamaran, and this was actually a really fun part of the tour. Alcoholic drinks are included and unlimited. When we boarded, they had drinks already poured and ready to go, so they had beer, margaritas, and a rum punch. Okay, so we just boarded the boat. It's like a really big catamaran. I recommend as soon as you get on board, head straight to the bar. They have drinks ready to go or you can request a specific drink. And uh, let's get this show started. I recommend dressing warm-ish or bringing a light sweater with you. I wore shorts and this light tank top, but with the wind from the boat and once the sun went down, I was frozen. Also, there's no dress code for Rhythms of the Night, but I would say that everyone there was like very beach casual. We left at sunset, which was stunning. Once everyone is settled, the boat host introduces all the staff and the tour guides that are with you, and then provides an overview of what to expect for the rest of the night. About halfway into our ride, they also brought out some appetizers, which I didn't get footage of, but there were cheese and meat trays and some hot dishes like pretzel bites, sliders, and these little pigs in a blanket things, but better. The boat ride to the island was about an hour. Eventually, your boat arrives at the private cove, which looks really cool from the water. It's all candlelit with tiki torches, and they actually advertise that there's no electricity here. But the ambience is set up so beautifully, and it's romantic, also kind of mysterious in a good way. There's bongo drums playing as you walk through these enchanted feeling sandy walkways. Dinner is included in this tour, and it's buffet style. And now we have this beautiful candlelit dinner. It's buffet style. We are right by the water. I am so ready to dig in. So far, this has been so awesome. There was a good selection of chicken, beef, and fish, and lots of vegetable dishes, pasta dishes, a few salads, cold cuts and cheese, and a bread station, as well as a dessert station. Drinks with dinner are also included. The food was okay. In my opinion, it was nothing to write home about, but for me, this was just a small part of the overall experience. The dinner ambience definitely made up for it. We got to sit on the beach, by the water, under candlelight. It was actually really lovely. Then it was time for the show. I really enjoyed it. It was a mix of creative dance, acrobatics, mysticism, live music, fire dancers, and more. I don't want to give away too much, but it kept me engaged and entertained the whole way through. It was about a 45 minute show. This is also an outdoor amphitheater style show, so the seating is long benches, but they do have cushions on them. As far as prices, it's about $100 USD per adult. I recommend buying tickets online at least four days in advance because this is when you will get the best price. 
Now, there are also VIP options for the tickets, which you can upgrade when you are on site. I believe it's an extra $25. We didn't go with this, but this does get you first on and first off the boat and front row seating at the show, as well as being seated for dinner first. Now, if you are planning to do this tour, I do have a few extra tips for you. Like I said, dress warm enough for a cool, windy evening, especially for the boat ride back. Also, the boat ride on the way back includes drinks again, and there was some pretty fun entertainment that made the boat ride go by pretty quickly. And then we were back at Nuevo Vallarta between 11 and 11.30 p.m. You might also want to bring bug spray. I didn't really notice any bugs, but if you're someone that mosquitoes love, you might want to bring it. And if you get seasick or motion sickness really easily, maybe bring some Dramamine or Gravol. Our boat ride was relatively smooth, but we did speak to other travelers on our trip who ran into some rougher water, and they said a few people on their boat ride got a little bit sick. Also, Rhythms of the Night is not wheelchair accessible as there are stairs throughout the night. And children five and under are not allowed. However, I would recommend this tour for teenagers and above. Overall, I actually really want to do this tour again. I really enjoyed it and I would love to see it a second time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've seen the show or if you think you might do it or if you think it's not worth it. I'd love to hear your comments. You can also check out my other videos about Puerto Vallarta. I also have dozens of blog posts about what to do in the area, including 14 unique day trips and excursions from Puerto Vallarta. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.